Hi, this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Blog. Today I'm going to show you the installation and deployment on, of VMware vCenter Support Assistant. Uh, you can use Support Assistant to collect uh, VMware logs of all uh, VMware products, not only your vCenter and SXI host. The product is um, possible to configure this product to configure also, also for um, other VMware products. So as you can see the installation is done uh, via uh, choosing the OVAF file which you have downloaded uh, pre uh, first. Then you choose uh, data store, host uh, as usually. In this demo I'm just doing uh, DHCP but you can uh, put uh, IP fixed IP. Uh, the requirement is to have uh, two vCPUs uh, and uh, two gigs of RAM for uh, for the VM. So it's not very uh, resource demanding application. And uh, the deployment is it takes. Uh, about 10 seconds only. So uh, now we're going to check the IP address of the appliance. Oops, not this one. Uh, let's refresh. Yeah, okay. So let's launch the page to get the IP address and uh, let's enter the IP address to connect to the appliance. Okay, this is the default certificate. The username root, password VMware. Here you put IP address of your vCenter server. I have done this previously so obviously the URL got pre-deployed but once you enter the IP address it uh, it's enough. Here you connect the SSO single sign-on uh, administrator credentials and uh, the appliance is deploying the vCenter plugin. The vCenter plugin is deployed only for the vSphere web client so you are only allowed to use the vCenter server assistant through the vSphere web client so here you can see we hooked our vCenter and we can test the connectivity so everything is okay now we have to log out of our vSphere client and log back again to refresh and basically we'll be able to to see the new plugin installed yes okay so this is just, just the getting started page we don't need this uh, okay, managed up and uh, let's see what we have uh, here. Okay, so log at and disable, we shall enable, yes. Okay, that's it. Uh, well, by default there is a schedule, but you can change it. Here we have our infrastructure, so all our hosts are checked by default. And uh, oops, not this one here. You can go to enter your contact details. So the monthly email of the summary will be delivered directly to your email box. You can also change the default password. And uh, 
that's about it. Huh? It's very easy to deploy as you can see and here on this page you can connect and uh, fill a support request but you need to be on the VMware SNS to be able to do that. You then have to be on a SNS uh, just to using the, the first part just to monitor and uh, gather the logs. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.